Hello, today I'm doing a little bit of a science experiment. If you've been online, you've probably run into the banana challenge, the banana and Sprite challenge, whatever people like to call it. Basically, the theory is that a person cannot eat two bananas and drink a certain quantity of Sprite. Depending on who you ask, the amount always varies. Some people say it's only one can of Sprite. Now that's 12 fluid ounces or 355 milliliters, or maybe it's one liter. I have a two liter soda bottle, so I don't have to worry about that. Perhaps over time people were able to beat the challenge and they just added more Sprite to make it more difficult. Now, the idea is that there's some sort of a chemical reaction going on here, that somehow the bananas are reacting with the Sprite and creating a chemical or maybe a gas that makes it impossible for someone to hold it down. Now, I know that there's potassium citrate, and potassium citrate can be made by potassium carbonate or potassium bicarbonate mix mixing with citric acid. I know potassium chloride is also toxic in high quantities. Bananas are notorious for containing high amounts of potassium, but there's foods that do contain more. Sprite, on the other hand, I mean, I, what I should do is I should actually go over the ingredients here. I'm not going to do this experiment with my own stomach, obviously, because, well, one, there's problems with that, vomiting, and two, because of the ingredients in Sprite. Let me see if I can get everything in camera here, this way you can see what I'm talking about. Yeah, I don't know if you're going to be able to read that or not, but I'll read it off to you. Basically, carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, I don't want to drink that, citric acid, natural flavors, sodium citrate, sodium benzoate as well. So the whole thing idea is that you have sodiums in there and you have potassiums in the banana and sodium and potassium sometimes are a bit similar. So maybe there's some sort of replacement reaction going on where the potassium and sodium are switching places, but who knows. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel these bananas and I am going to put them in this plastic bag, mash them up with a fork, similar to as if you chewed them up, and then pour in about half a bottle of Sprite in there. And this theory is that you have to be able to hold them down or eat them within 10 minutes. So we'll see how that goes. All right, let me just get to work here. I might edit this out, or I might just leave it all on film so you can actually see the whole process as it goes. Let me get to work. All right, bananas are a little bit old, but nevertheless, they will work. Some people say the reason why this reaction occurs is due to the fact of nucleation, that just like there's a rough surface on Mentos that somehow basically released the CO2 bubbles, the similar things could be happening with the rough surface of a banana. Well, one banana in a bag. Let me start mashing this up now. This is probably not going to work very well, but it's better than nothing. Probably not getting too much of this on camera. I've never practiced doing something like this before, but whatever. Now, there's other chemicals inside of one's stomach, you know, a bunch of hydrochloric acid. I do have a bottle, an old bottle here of distilled vinegar, just in case we want to add some of that into the mix to see if we can get any more reactions going on. That's one banana down. Quite appetizing, right? You know, I feel kind of sad. This is kind of a waste of food, but hey, it's for science. I haven't seen anyone put a video like this up yet on YouTube, so I figured I might as well give it a shot. You know, the funny thing is that um, there's actually something called banana vinegar. I found that out recently. I don't know. I wonder if that has anything that if we researched it, we can learn anything. But anyway, there we are. That's your two bananas mashed up. This is where the fun part starts. We're going to start adding this start adding the sprite. And just to prove to you that I didn't add anything to this bottle, I'll just slide it across here. See, it's still got the seal there. Uh, you'll hear it pop. Shh. 
Here we are. Now, I wasn't going to seal off this bag, but perhaps I should close it off with my hand just to see if there is any gas buildup that's just minute. But let me see if I can even pour this in here. This is only a one gallon bag, and it's already filled up with two bananas, so this might be interesting. Probably going to need more hands than what I have here. Does appear to have some reaction, a bit more than what normal Sprite would have. Let's see. Yeah, as you see, when you're pouring it in, it really does fuzz up and almost keep like a foam. It isn't a, an exorbitant amount of gas, but it's probably because a lot of it leaked out. Good thing I had that tray underneath the bag, though, I'll tell you that. I can't say too much, but what I think is that, as you see, there's some sort of a foam here, and it's a little bit thicker. Like a Sprite, normally when you pour it in a cup, it will dissipate. This isn't dissipating. Um, maybe it's just because the bananas, when they're so mashed, uh, the foam will pick up uh, the little mashed pieces of the banana and kind of create almost like a, I don't know what you can describe it as. It's more of a throthy foam, almost like something that would be on top of a beer. Here, take a look at it. <laughs> it's almost like a gel. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Not too much reactions going on right now, though. It's been a good many minutes, and I haven't seen anything. Just when we first poured it in. You know what it could be? It's just that this foam, it, it's not really dissipating. So what could happen is that when you first pour it into your stomach, even though your stomach has a good amount of capacity, the foam expands so rapidly with the gas released that it kind of tricks your stomach to believe that it's fuller than what it actually is and that might cause someone to vomit. Yeah, I don't, I don't see any major chemical reactions going on here. Uh, the reason why the bag's leaking is due to the fact that when I mashed up the bananas with the fork, I put some small puncture holes in it. The Sprite bottle is a little bit underneath half empty, so there's definitely about a liter of Sprite added here. What I could do as a, as a second part to this video, I could just get a banana, chop it off into like a, a little disc or wafer type of thing, and just pour Sprite on it directly, see what type of reaction you get. Or even maybe I should have just done this experiment on a smaller scale. Um, that probably would have been better. But yeah, right now the foam is dissipating.
This video is already about, well, it's over 10 minutes long right now. I don't think my introduction was that long. So when I get roughly to the 15 minute part, we know that there's basically nothing going on. And maybe if anything, I can add some vinegar to the mix just to see what we can get. That fork that I used, uh, mixed it up a little bit. It's still, as you can see, it's got some sort of a gel almost on. It could just be mashed bananas, but I don't know if the Sprite's reacting in some form. It's even coating the prongs pretty thick. It's just like a really nasty beer right now. I'm pretty sure that the same thing could be done, the same type of like food challenge. If someone ate like a big bag of pretzels and then drank like a, a liter of Sprite or something like that, the same idea happens. I mean, you, you could put a piece of salt inside of like a, a soft drink and see it fuzz up. So it might just be some sort of minor irritation in the stomach that causes one to overreact and vomit. But there is gas in there now. You can see that. Probably just release CO2. And it did fill up the bag virtually all the way, so... Maybe there is something to this uh, little challenge here. But you would probably just be burping. I I'm holding the bag, so you can't really expel the gas. <laughs> Don't hear any unusual noises. <laughs> no color change. The smell is basically just Sprite and bananas. It's not very strong at all either. The gas still is forming though. Well, we have about a minute or so to go to 15 minute mark of this video. Has anyone vomited yet from watching this? Maybe. All right. The foam's starting to go down even more now. So I think as it's the 15 minute mark, it's just about time for me to uh, step it up a notch. Let's see if I can add a little bit of vinegar to the mix. Maybe that's what we're missing. You know, it's not hydrochloric acid, that's for sure, but add a little bit of something.
You know, it reminds me of, if you, if you ever put like an orange with some of the pulp on it inside of a blender, that's kind of what it looks like now. All right, I poured a good amount of vinegar in there and it's, it's not really doing anything. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, um, I don't know if you could call this a fail video or not, but we didn't really get too much of a reaction. Whatever we got was relatively quick. Uh, I'm sorry if I had a bore you over these long, was it 17, 18 minutes so far, but uh, I'm still getting gas creation, but uh, it's nothing really to write home about, so uh, take care.